So with a rising cost of living all over the world, you will actually love to consider a side hustle that will earn you some passive income to help you meet your expenses, all right? Unfortunately, this high cost of living doesn't match our earnings or our salaries. So a side hustle is actually going to help you a lot. What side hustle are we considering? I think a side hustle should be something flexible, something that you can do at your own pace and time and you are not actually bound to specific dates and times i have to deliver today i'm going to talk about online learning and teaching platform so basically you can either go to these platforms to um share your content your teaching courses and it is going to earn you money on the other hand if you want to learn you also go on these websites learn the skill and put it in practice so you can learn skills like photography video editing how to do makeups and you can learn classroom basic traditional classroom courses like mathematics english anything else you can even decide to teach your local dialects and it's amazing aside the fact that you can prepare courses and sell on these platforms you can also sell your projects so let's say you are an art tutor or you have some art skills and you teach the class you can actually sell out what you make out of the class you know extra extra income and the amazing part of the whole thing is you don't need any teaching qualification or teaching license teaching training to prove that you can actually teach the course all you need is the knowledge and the skill if you don't have it all that you have to do is just go on there the same website look for some of the courses learn a skill learn something and you can also go ahead and deliver it or you can end up making whatever you learn out in the physical and making and make money out of it so with this irrespective of your location no matter where you are in the world you can do it all you need is internet access and a recording device so what some platforms allow you to upload pre-recorded videos so you record your videos you can even edit them and then upload them okay some platforms also allow you to do both you record and upload you can also have live teaching sessions and some of them also allow you to have interaction with your students so basically there is not just one subject available or you are not streamlined to just one thing you have the ability to prepare and deliver any topic at all you want but you before you do this you will have to consider the platform that best fits what you want to do some of these platforms are actually free to use but some of them you have to pay some are one-time payment some are monthly subscriptions so you look out for all these things see which one best fits what you want to do what fits your pocket as well and then you go in for it so the first platform to consider is thinkific so this platform actually allows you to create your courses and sell them you can also uh, create a website a marketing website and incorporate it with your uh, accounts there and you can also sell your products like i mentioned earlier so products you make out of your courses you can also sell them online all right and a whole lot of benefits they have a free plan available but they come with restrictions so if you go in there read about it and understand the policy before you start and if you already have a website you know let's say you're into photography for example you already have a website and you want to develop the website or you want the business to grow you can incorporate this website into the teaching you want to do on thinkific and it's going to help boost your business all right because students are going to have access to your market your website as well and thinkific also has an app which says on their website that it's coming up soon meaning it's not out yet but i'm sure when the app is launched it's going to make navigation much easier for people who are using it however the downside of this is that there's no adequate content creation support so unlike other platforms that actually help you with your content creation this platform doesn't have enough support they have marketing support but they don't have content creation support then the second platform we are considering is skillshare so skillshare is very good for starters it's actually starter friendly but the downside of skillshare is that you need approval of a premium course before you can actually monetize and it's also favors creative so if you are into the skills 
thing then it favors you so more of let's say video editing and stuff like that and then the other downside is that you can't adjust your pricing so other platforms allow you to adjust your pricing like you decide how much you charge for your course but skillshare don't allow you to do that the third one i'm talking about is udemy i'm sure a lot of people have heard or come across it somewhere it's very popular so udemy is uh, also a teaching and learning platform and the good thing about udemy is they have a lot of students on the platform already so it's easy for your um, courses to go live i mean it's easy for students to identify your courses they are there students are there thousands millions of them but the downside with udemy is is they have transaction charges okay another good thing about udemy is they give you insights and analytics so you can actually check the progress of your courses so you see how often students are visiting your courses and it's not doing well you can actually try to find out what the problem is and improve and you can read your reviews as well it will help you to improve on your courses you know one other downside with udemy is that you need approval before you can start creating um, courses. So once you sign in, you need to make a video of you teaching and then they will actually um, assess the video to see how your delivery is, your video quality and other things before they will as actually accept you through it, all right? But once you are accepted and that's it. The other downside is that you may have a, a limit on the duration of your delivery. So your delivery should not go beyond a certain number of minutes. So once you start, you will be notified on what is expected of you to do. Then we move on to Teachable. So Teachable is actually for people with online uh, teaching experience, okay? So if you have your online teaching experience and you've already built your student base, refer some of your students there because their audience exposure is very limited. So if you have your own audience, then you can actually transfer them or you can refer them to that site as well. But a good thing about Teachable is that you can actually adjust your price. So you decide how much you want to charge for your course all right then the next platform i'll talk about is podia so podia actually has flexible pricing as well and they it also allows you to sell your product at once and then the other ones i'm just going to mention them ed app ways iq kajabi learn worlds allo and learn dash so i'm going to leave the links to all these platforms these 11 platforms in the description box mind you these are not the only platforms available okay there are a number of them these are the common ones i'm giving you you can actually deliver on anything you can take the opportunity start with a free plan and see how you grow how you develop okay talk about parenting whatever you are passionate about talk about it i mean deliver it make sure your video is very good your quality your lightning everything is good and you should be able to make something out of it to support your earnings. It can even be that you have experience from training an autistic child. You can actually train or you can actually teach people or train people on these websites on how to live with people like these. It's very difficult living with such people. So if you have that experience and you come out to teach, you will be making more money and you will still be making an impact in people's lives. So yes, let's all make online teaching and learning a habit now, okay? If you don't have, if you feel you don't have any skill to teach, learn something and bring it out, okay? And this lady actually has uh, an online training going on and the title is Train the Trainer, okay? So those of you interested, you can actually head over there, watch the videos. It's going to also give you insights about what I'm talking about. And it's also going to help boost your self-confidence in starting this whole project, okay? Okay, so thank you for watching this video. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, kindly, kindly share, like, and comment. And please, if you are already using any of these platforms, can be the one I've mentioned, it can be something I didn't mention. You can also put it in the comment section. Let people know what you are doing and how you are benefiting from it. You can also make your recommendations. Okay? Thank you so much and I'll see you guys again.